Hello everyone. This is Saturday, December the 18th, 2021. A cold winter day. One degree Celsius, but there's some wind blowing making it kind of cold. And my wife just dropped me off here at Agricola because she got other things to do today. So I'm walking down Agricola right now. And an area I haven't walked in for quite a while is the Halifax Common, so I thought I'd go over that way. I just walk around there. There's probably not too much going on in that area in the winter time, but should be a good walk anyway. And I'm going to end up downtown because I'm going to take the ferry back across the harbor and then either I'm going to walk home from there or my, my wife is going to be able to pick me up. One or the other, I'm not sure. Oh, that's going to all go yet. All right. So here we are. One, one week from Christmas. Can you imagine that? This month has flown so fast. The month has gone so fast. I don't know where it's gone. I'm just looking at my microphone there, it looks to be in a little bit of an odd angle, but I hope it's all right. I hope it looks okay. I hope you folks can hear me because I got a lot of stuff on here. I got my mask on and my hood up over my face there, kind of. And so I hope you can hear me all right. I'll try my best. I've got to keep my mask sort of on right now because of the, the COVID numbers are really spiking. So we have to be careful, but it makes it really hard to talk to a mask on. Trying to talk over the top of it a little bit and I still have it on. I hope I can pull that off. All right. So I'm heading down Agricola and we'll go down by, I think it's Canary down there and head up to the, head across the grass and I don't know where we'll end up yet. But I haven't been out for a nice long walk for a while so I did some short ones. You guys seem to like my my uh, driving in the snowstorm one, that was pretty good. I got a lot of good comments from that one. I'm glad I remembered to erase my phone. I did do that. That would be bad to have to stop in that today with this cold weather and the wind blowing. The wind isn't too bad right here. I was up at Bayer's Lake and it was brutal up there because that's higher ground. And it was really, really cold up there. I got my winter gloves on today so my hands should be all right today. The other gloves I was wearing, they were, they were all right for fall and spring, but right in the cold winter, they, they your hands will still get cold. But I got one nice warm winter gloves on now, so I should be okay with that. And well, it feels nice to get out here walking again today after kind of being stuck in the house here for a few days and all tied up with all the stuff I had to do. And, and it's very hard at Christmas time to to get enough time to do a video. Whoops, my phone's tracking. I must have hit the button. There we go. Okay. Got the tracker off. I'm back at it. Okay. Yes. As I was saying, 
during this Christmas season as any anybody with a family would probably tell you you don't have much spare time at Christmas time even if you're single you probably don't have a lot of spare time because you've got a lot of stuff to do and things to attend and all these things yes yeah, so it takes up your time so I have really had a difficulty finding time to get out and do a video. This is Saturday, I'm out. I hardly ever make videos on Saturday, but only when I'm getting behind and, and this is my only spare time I have. So that's why I'm out on Saturday. It is sunny, it's a little on the chilly side, but it's sunny, so that's, that's good. My viewers are from far away sometimes. I got a, one of my comments I got this week was from a Japanese gentleman who is living in, um, um, if I can think of that country, not in Japan, but, but another country over there, a small country. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't pull it out. Anyways, if I think of it, I'll say it. And anyways, that was nice. That was my first, uh, first comment from somebody that was Japanese. That was my first first time I got a comment from them. So that was really good. Oh, I know where it was. Uh, it was he was living in Singapore. And he was Japanese, but he lives in Singapore, and he had been to Nova Scotia once. So, I was really, really happy to see the videos of Halifax, because he lived down here, or visited here, or something like that. So, okay. We are now over on, nearing the Halifax Common. That's where we're going to walk across today. Haven't done that for a, a while. I think this is uh, Canard Street right here. Okay, I gotta walk. They're gonna wait for me. That's good. All right, Halifax Common. That's where we're going today. Walk through there and. Off in the distance, you can see Citadel Hill over there. I don't go there a lot, but I've been up on Citadel Hill a few times making videos. I don't think I'll go there today. We just walk by it. I just want to cover what's in here at the Halifax Common. For people who don't know what it is, the Halifax Common is in the... Uh, it borders the north end, but it also go down, I guess I call it more the West End, kind of like the, yeah, the Halifax Common is kind of in the West, it's the beginning of the West End, that's what it is, it's the beginning of the West End. Because if you go that way, you're, hit, you're going right downtown if you go that way, okay, South End is over there. And the north end is over there. So I have to call this the west end. Now the west end goes farther out, but this is still, I guess this is still the west end. Near as I'm determined, but I have to call it the west end. Wow. 
Oh, I see they're icing up the oval over there. See the machine? It's cold enough to freeze ice, apparently. My, my phone said it was one degree out, but they're making ice. me talk at all. I can hear the wind blowing. So I'm going to raise my voice a little bit when the snow, or snow, when the wind blows. When the wind blows across here, I'm going to raise my voice because that might, might help. Because the wind was blowing so hard in one video, I made, I had to scrap it. It was, it was just, it was horrible, the sound. And I had my microphone with the windscreen on it out too. And, and everything just still didn't help. So you can see those flags blowing over there, there is a fair bit of wind, but right now it's at my back, so you might not hear too much wind at the moment, since my mic is fastened on the front of my jacket, but if it does get real windy, I'll try to shield it and, and speak loud, and hopefully it'll drown out the, the wind. That's what you have to contend with in the winter time in, in uh, Halifax. It's awful windy. Let's walk over and take a look at the oval. You want to see that? The skating will be starting up here soon, maybe even today. Look at this. They've been icing it up. The ice machine was going around it. If it comes around again, I'll stay here so you can watch the ice, ice machine come around. Basically, it's the same thing they use for hockey. To make ice on the hockey rinks. But look at this. Wow, here we are already again. It doesn't seem that long ago. It was last winter. No, he stopped. So we'll just keep on walking around here. You know what's a little bit funny? Here we are almost the end of December and there's still green grass. Can you see that? The grass is still, it's not green green like in the summer, but it has got green in it. But it's still got some green look to it. Pretty amazing, I'd say. Ice making in progress. Please stay off. We can walk here. We just can't walk with ices. And they don't want you skating on it because it's not ready yet. They're making the ice, but you can see there's flaws in it, like right there. And there's spots that you'd, if you try to skate on it, you'd, you'd probably get your skates cut. But they're working on it. Not every city has something like this. That's something kind of unique to, to Halifax. It, I'm sure there's other cities that have skating areas, but with an oval like this, a lot of cities don't have it. In Toronto, they were skating at City Hall, but it wasn't an oval. too windy we'll, we'll, we'll walk in a different direction 
where it's not so windy. But we'll stick with this for now. I wanted to jaywalk, but I don't know if I can. It's quite busy here. But we'll see. I might make it across here soon. We'll go halfway. I'll go out in the middle and then we'll wait for the other half. All right, I can make it. I wanted to walk across the street because I'm not really going down the street. I'm just kind of across here. We'll take another shot back that way for you. That's all part of the common and so is this area right here. Beautiful in the summer. There's lots of stuff going on here. Softball, tennis, all kinds of things. Soccer. But now in the winter we don't have that stuff. But you do have skating. And there's hockey too, if people are into hockey. Well, I watch it on TV, but I don't play it. This time last year there was snow on the ground over here. And I'm lucky that this year, no snow. We had snow a couple times. I think three times in all. One was a very light snow. And then we had that heavy one, 30 centimeters. A couple days later it was all gone. And then we had another small one, and it's gone. So here we are, bare ground again. Almost Christmas, but one week for Christmas, but it could be a white Christmas because there is some small amounts of snow in the forecast. I think one day there's two centimeters, maybe three. Another day there's one. Another day there's one, something like that. There's, there's several days we're going to get a little bit. Have you got uh, Christmas carols stuck in your head and Christmas songs? Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph and run run Rudolph and all the stuff you got that stuck in your head I know I do because I've been listening to it for a month solid I've been volunteering some time on the Salvation Army Christmas kettles and I've got one more shift to go. I don't do it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so I only have Thursday and Friday that I do it. And Thursday I'm doing it. I was supposed to do it Friday, but Friday's Christmas Eve and that's, that's my last... I think I have things to do on Christmas Eve, so that means I won't be able to, to do that. So Thursday's my my last last shift on the kettles this for, for this year. So 
that'll free up me up some time for videos. That, that you know, I was I was doing that in the afternoon, and a lot of times I'm out doing videos in the afternoon. So that'll free up some time. Well, we're still we're still at the Hive Effects common area, but that's pretty much the start of it right here. And I think, I don't think there's too much more. That could be called the, the common, but maybe, maybe there's a little more to it. I don't think there's much, so. Okay, walk, let's go this way. Let's walk across this way. I'm heading south, towards the south end. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the south end, but I'm going south. I'm on Summer Street. Summer Street, and I know where this goes. This will take me right down to the public gardens. I might just walk down there to the public gardens because that's always nice to walk to, even in the winter. Even in the winter time, it can be nice. So I might just do that. There's a building that looks like it's just strictly for parking cars, by the looks of it. Sidewalk so low, so I have to walk on the street to get around it, I guess. It'd be my only option except going across the street. I don't think I'm gonna go over there, so I think I'll just walk down this side. It's not that far, it's just a little bit of a detour. So Summer Street, we'll take that down, I guess. Be a good route to take today. This is all hospital stuff over here. Different, uh, different parts of the hospital. There's a lot of different buildings here that belong to the hospital. It's not all one building. It's just, depends on what you need or where, where you're going. A little bit more of a detour here, I guess, before I get back onto the sidewalk. So I'll turn around, you can see that new, that new building is just car parking. Strictly for parking cars. In any city, it doesn't matter what city you're in, parking a car is always, can be difficult because not bad on the weekend, but through the week, everybody's looking for a place to park. So you definitely, anything that provides more parking, it'll be a welcome thing. Like that right there, that's gonna hold a lot of cars. A place. It will really help. There's less wind down here. You know, if that can hardly hear any wind blowing down here. But good, good choice come this way. I'm kind of sheltered in here. 
The bleachers look really cold over there in the middle of the winter with nobody on them and the cold and, and the temperatures and everything, they look really cold. There, try to steady this a little better if I can. Maybe it needs lining up too. No, it seems to be all right, okay. Yeah, I think we'll walk through the public gardens today. I wouldn't expect to see any flowers out, but we'll walk through it anyways. A winter walk is always nice. I did one last winter in the snow. But there's no snow this winter, not yet anyway. Well, that's a good idea. Walk down through the through the park, I guess. Yeah, it looks kind of bare in there, doesn't it? There's usually leaves on the trees and flowers and all this stuff. Well, it's open, so we'll go in. We'll take a diagonal walk down through here, I guess. When the trees are all out here, you can't see from one side to the other. But now, you can see right through it. It's kind of a strange looking place in the winter with nobody in here. I don't see another person in here. It's cold and we used to see squirrels running around on the grass and different things. Ducks and, and uh, all that. I don't see anything here today. Nothing. It's very bare. Very bare, quiet place. Well, this has usually got water running out of it in the in the summer. But as you can see, that's all turned off now for the year. I see some ducks in the lake, though. First sign of wildlife since I came in here. Well, I see some ducks over there in the lake. Would you believe the lake's not frozen yet? Here we are, 18th of December, and the lake is still unfrozen. That don't happen very often. We'll just look and see if there's any ice on it at all. Even a little skiff of ice, maybe. Because it feels cold enough to freeze it, but... I see the ducks out there in the water, so I guess it's not freezing. No, it's not froze. Look at that. The ducks are right out there in the water swimming around. 
apparently the, the cold water doesn't really bother ducks <laughs> like it does people. Well, there's a couple of people walking around over here. Well, I'm not the only one in here today. No, for sure, there's other people here. See, they got some lights that change color to shine up on the trees at night. That's nice. There's the the lights are there. The bandstand. Oh, we do have some ducks walking around here too. Look at that. Right there. I guess the live the lively animals are all down in this end of the park. I gotta level my phone up again here. There, that's a little better. That's a little better. Hello. Hey, hi, Paul. Hi. Well, got three ladies sitting there on the bench. All smiling. Mm. All right, now let's see how many minutes I get on here. Just gonna turn around away from the sign and have a look. I've got to. Okay, 33 minutes. Just going to take a, a small break here for a minute, okay? Okay, it's running now. I just set it down for a second while I put my gloves on. And then we'll continue on through the park and... Okay, let's go. Down through the park and out on the Spring Garden Road. Then we'll see where my feet take me after that. I hear some machinery going, must be something working over here. It's Sunday, but, oh sorry, it's Saturday. Sunday's tomorrow. I, I got my days mixed up this week because my wife was home on Friday and it felt like Saturday. Now this is Saturday, so it feels like Sunday, but it is in fact Saturday. Here we're coming out to the, soon gonna be to the main entrance.
of the public gardens, which is right here. Right across the street from the Lord Nelson Hotel. All right, we're out of the park. There we are. We'll just keep her going and walk, walk down uh, Spring Garden Road, I guess. See what that's like today on a cold Saturday afternoon. Yeah, right, we got a green light now. I guess they're working on this road today. They're trying to get this done. And they're probably running behind. They're probably behind schedule right now. And trying to get it done as we're into winter. Three more days will be officially into winter. This is December. And they always say December 21st is officially the start of winter. So we are in winter now. You can tell by how it feels, but it's not official till the 21st. So let's see where we go in here. What do we got? I'm thinking about, whoops, I got my hand caught in my, my mic cable and pulled my phone there. What? Well, did it again. Stop doing that. Okay. Yeah. You can see how wide the sidewalks are going to be. I pulled my mask up right for the moment. It's going to have very wide sidewalks here. All the way out to there. I would say these sidewalks in places are narrow because they're, they're uh, going to be things here like flowers probably, maybe a fire hydrant or something. But some places are like seven, eight feet wide. guys are working, working overtime now trying to get this done. They're getting, they're getting there, but I think it went a little, little, uh, it went a little bit slower than they were planning on, but they're getting there. bit of congestion here sometimes due to the fences and narrow sidewalks and whatever people are walking around. Right here you got really wide sidewalks. I say they're they're fifteen feet wide right there. It's good in a lot of ways because it makes room for people to walk up and down the sidewalk on a busy day. street level.
Why do you say we walk over to the library? Would do that? Down at the music. I don't want to get into trouble. Yeah, I think I'm good now. I think I'm far enough away from the music now it won't be any trouble. I'm at the public library. I want to go into the library, so I gotta just stop here for a minute, and when I come back out, I'll restart it, okay? Okay, I'm back. Just coming out of the library. I have to walk over here first to set my phone down so I can. Set my phone down so I can put my glove on. Otherwise, my hand will be cold. So here's a spot right here I can set my phone down because I have my tripod out. That will make it easy to put my phone down. And put my glove back on. And, and away we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. There's the library I just came out of, and we are heading back, probably uptown. It still feels to me like this is Sunday, but I know it's not, it's Saturday. Ah, oh, there, that's better. I got my mask down a little bit now, you can probably hear me better. As we make our way down the rest of uh, Spring Garden Road, well, the sun's out anyways. It's bright, bright sunshine. It's chilly because of the wind. It's, it's plus, it's plus one, and really it, it shouldn't be that cold. But the wind is making it a little bit chilly. If it wasn't for the wind, it wouldn't be cold. But that's how it is here in Halifax. Mostly, most of the winter is windy. Alright, let's get across the street. And I guess I'll go down to, uh, maybe, maybe we'll go down to Barrington and walk up Barrington today on this nice sunny day. It's a cool, chilly day, but sunny. Be thankful for that. I like snowy days too because they make good videos. And rainy days make good videos, but I don't think we'll get many more of those this year because I would expect most precipitation now to be snow, but I could be wrong. I thought we'd have snow on the ground by Christmas, but we may or may not have. It's kind of, there could be a little dust before Christmas, maybe. So I just wondered, how's everybody doing in your area with the with the pandemic. Yes, are y'all getting ready for lockdown again? Or is everything not too bad? But the way it looks, it's not good. So here in Halifax, you can still go into restaurants. I, I believe you can. I know you can go into Tim Hortons because I was in there. 
You have to wear your mask, you have to prove your vaccination, but as of yet, you can still go in. I want to tell you, it makes for a, for a rough, cold winter when you don't have anywhere to go. Well, you come over here and you can buy a coffee and you got to carry it around in your hand and it's minus five or six. It don't take that coffee long to cool off and it's too cold to drink and you're freezing. Yes, it's not, it's not great. The winter times when you need places to go. And summertime is when it's all open. There's no problem in the summer. When winter comes, we're in our fourth wave now. The fourth wave, whoops, I just hit my, my, oh, my mic cable sticking off of my phone and sometimes I move my hand like to adjust my hat or something. I hit that cable and it'll spin my phone around. So I hope you didn't get too dizzy with that. And the phone went around there. If you're watching that on your 65-inch uh, TV, it might have made you dizzy. This place is coming along good. I've been hoping this would be up and running and open in this winter. But we'll see how that all goes. It's really coming along great. It won't be long and it'll be open, but whether or not you can do anything there because of the cold. Whenever I meet a bus, I'm going to stop talking because it's, it's enough noise coming from the bus. The oldest, the oldest bus stops around right here. See how this thing's made? Cement on the bottom and these big glass partitions. And they got a beautiful mural inside. I would I would hazard a guess that, that this bus stop is very old. I don't know the date of it, but I'm sure it's quite old. Yeah, for sure. I just thought I'd take you inside there and show you that bus stop. As far as I know, it's the only one to see that looks like that. The only one, as far as I know, that looks like that bus stop. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on up the road. There's an air of caution in the, in the air now because because the way the the new new variant is showing itself. And people are getting a little nervous. I never used to wear my mask around walking around the street. I put it on to go in somewhere, but that was about it. And now I have it on because I'm right downtown here. And I don't know if I could run into somebody that has the virus. I wouldn't think that they would be out walking around if they had it. But I, well, the upside of this is, it says it's got a very very low amount of time before you'll feel it. It used to be like up to two weeks and now they're saying three days. Three days from the time you're infected till you'll be sick. So that might be a good thing because you don't have people walking around spreading it for days and don't know they have it. Sick, you're probably not going to be out walking around this cold, that's for sure. So, there might be something to, 
be a positive about that, looking at it from that side. And we've all been vaccinated in, in our family, as most people have. I think most people are vaccinated right now. There's only a few people that may be on. Most are. That place now is open for moving in. Not many people in there yet, but it, but it is open for moving in. There's the sign. Penthouse collected, never always held the Roy by appointment only. These are our model suites, immediate occupancy. So it's ready to move in. much different on Saturday than it does a weekday. It's usually about this busy. Yep. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk down to the ferry terminal and I get a coffee down there, get nice and warm, then I'll walk over to the, I'll catch the ferry, go across the harbor, then maybe I'll walk home from there because I don't really like getting on buses right now because of this COVID, the way it's uh, multiplying so fast. So I'll probably take the ferry, which is usually not too many on there. Take the ferry and then walk home. Maybe about a half an hour from the ferry, 40 minutes at the most. Well, I won't be videoing, so it'll be faster walking. Oh, all right, continue on. Uh, wind blowing here. Certain places, certain places there's not much wind, and certain areas there's quite a bit of wind. It all depends on, right now I'm facing the north, and mostly in the winter the wind is coming out of the north, so. That's why it's windy. We had, we had plans of going to Ontario in May. We still might, but it all depends now on the COVID, how that goes. We may or may not get up there in May. Walking by the city hall and the Grand Parade, the park here. Looks pretty quiet today. 
I don't know if you're supposed to go in there or not. I see a, a, a security guard vehicle sitting in there. So I'm not sure. He might be just sitting there, or maybe we're not supposed to go in there. I don't know. But I'm not going to go in today because yeah, we made a pretty good video today anyway, walking around. And I don't think I need to, to go in there today. We'll come to that another day again when we're bored right to death. How'll that be? Well, I don't know. I might have been wrong about this building. I always said it looked like it was uh, getting ready for demolition. But I'm not sure about that anymore. They could be, uh, there's what's going to be here, right there. Dex, Dexel Developments. Oh. That's what's going in here, you're going to be. One, two, three. It's going to be something like that building, but I don't know. They said it, the sign said earlier it was changing from seven stories to nine, and I thought they must be bringing that building down, but I don't know. It still might be. Looks funny, they got those bands around it. But we'll see. If that's what's going to happen, if they're going to bring it down, if they're going to fix it up, I don't know. It's hard to tell. They're still showing that divider around it. Of course, that might be the old building that's here. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's just what it looked like before. That's not what it's going to look like. That's what it looked like before it got into that mess. So, Anyway, we'll see. Time will tell whether that's going to be brought down or built onto it. I would say they would probably demolish the building, but who knows? They're the engineers, not me. My lens was just pointing up a little too high. There we go. Now you can see the sidewalk a bit better and the stuff around here. Well, that's one of the nice looking old buildings downtown. Right there, as well as some of the others along here. We'll go down to the ferry terminal. I'm gonna stop in there for coffee. I think I'll just end this video right here because I got a good spot to do it. I got a little, little table area right here where I can finish it off. So, as I always say, if you like this video, push like and I'll know you enjoyed our little walk around today. And if you're not yet a subscriber, that would be wonderful if you'd subscribe to my channel and become a subscriber and, and it doesn't cost you anything and there's no obligations to to watch a certain amount of videos. It's just that you'll be notified whenever I, I make a video and bring it out. And if you want to be right on top of when the next video's coming out, then push that subscribe button and uh, all will be well, okay? On that little bit of advice, you take care, stay safe, Watch out for the COVID, stay out of it, and have a great day till we see you again. Bye for now.